Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum students today we have a topic integers these integers topic are taken from our level 4 5 and 6 first of all let me explain what is an integers integers are the set of the numbers that includes the whole numbers whole number sets start from 0 and all the positive numbers and negative numbers include in this set of the integers how we represent integers on a number line here we have a number line and all the positive integers lie on the right side of the number line and all the negative integers lie on the left sides on left side of the number line here we have a zero zero is neither a positive nor a negative number so an integer is a positive or a negative whole number including zero there are four operations of integers addition subtraction multiplication and division so first of all we explain how addition and subtraction uh, verify these rules first of all when signs are same we add the number suppose we have minus 5 and minus 1 we add the number 5 plus 1 it becomes 6 but answer gets the sign of the larger number so 5 is the larger number its sign is negative so the answer is minus 6 next how I explain this when both numbers both value have the same sign minus 2 minus minus 9 minus 2 we have minus 9 and minus 2 we add both numbers 9 plus 2 11 but here we have greater the number we use that sign it means uh, when we keep the sign uh, of the number with the greatest absolute value here we have greatest absolute value is negative so we put minus sign here now we have question number two plus nine plus two we add the numbers 9 plus 2 11 add the numbers and keep the sign what sign we have we both signs have positive so we write positive sign this is how we solve when both value have the same signs now when both value have the different sign suppose we have minus 5 plus 1 both value have different signs so we subtract the number 5 minus 1 we get 4 answer gets the sign of the larger number larger number we have negative so we subtract and keep the sign of the number with the absolute greatest value here we have a greatest value minus 5 so we put sign minus 4 let me explain you with this example when both values have different signs we have two values minus 9 and minus uh, plus 2 we have two values and these two values have two different signs when two values have two different sign we subtract so 9 minus 2 we get 7 and 
which sign comes here. We subtract the number and keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Here we have greatest absolute value is minus 9. So we keep this sign with the 7. Now we have another question plus 9 and minus 2. We subtract the number. Answer is 7. Now subtract the number and keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. The greatest absolute value have the positive sign. So we write positive with the 7. This is how we solve the when both values have different signs. Now how we solve these questions on a number line. We have 6 plus 3. 6 and we have to add more 3. Plus 3 comes on the right side. So we add 3 numbers on the right side and we get 9. So the answer is 9. Now we have another number line. That we have a number minus 6 plus 3. We start from minus 6. Plus 3 comes on the right side. So we count plus 3 to the right side. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is minus 3. Now we have another example. Minus 6, minus 3. We start from minus 6. And we count minus 3. Minus 3 this negative integer comes on the left side so we count to the left sides one two and three the answer is minus nine these are the integers how we solve these integers while we have addition and subtraction in our integers now we have multiplication and division rules. Let's see how these rules apply on the integers. Must remember these four things. We have when positive number multiplied by a positive number, we get a positive number. In other words, plus multiply by plus, we get a positive plus. When a negative number multiply by a negative number, we get a positive number. In other words, minus multiply by minus, we get plus. Now, positive number multiply by a negative number, we get a negative number. And a negative number multiply by a positive number, we get a negative number. In other words, two different signs, we get a negative number. Two different signs, we get a negative number. And two same signs, we get a positive number. Two same signs, we get a positive number. Now, I show you with the example. Rules for multiplying integers, the product of two integers with the same signs is a positive with the same signs is a positive with the same signs is a positive how we have 9 multiplied by 2 here we have plus 9 multiplied by plus 2 how these two values multiply plus 9 multiplied by plus 2 9 2 times we get 18 so plus multiply by plus we get a positive value now minus 9 multiply by a minus 2 two negative values 9 multiply by 2 we get 18 and we have Two negative values minus multiply by minus we get positive minus minus plus this is how we solve 
two same signs value product now rules for if the product of two integers with two different signs that the answer must be a negative number look at this plus multiply by minus we get a negative number minus multiply by a plus we get a negative number now we have an example minus 9 multiply by plus 2 how we solve this minus 9 multiply by plus 2 9 2 times we get 18 and minus multiply by plus minus multiply by plus we get a negative number so the answer is minus 18 now we have plus 9 multiply by minus 2 plus value and a minus value plus multiply by minus we get a negative number so we have minus 18 this is how we solve two different signs product now same rules apply for dividing integers when we divide integers same rules for the multiplication apply on the division let's see negative number divided by a negative number we get a positive number for example minus 15 divided by minus 3 determine the sign negative divided by negative we get a positive pretend the number are positive and divides 15 divided by 3 we get 5 so the answer is 5 that is positive 5 this is how we solve division of integers these are all same as the multiplication of integers hope you all understand our today's topic and will do all the similar questions of like this thank you